Whoa, cool car, huh? Hey guys, it's your boy T Stingray here, and I have a challenge for you guys. I am trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, and I need your help. Now all you have to do is leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I go live or whenever I post a video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What is going on guys, it's your boy T Stingray, welcome back to another video guys and today I am going to be showing you guys a trick in car dealership tycoon of how to go faster. But before we get started guys, be sure to smack that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And don't forget to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I go live or post a video. So you guys need to click that post notification bell. Because if you guys don't, sometimes you don't get the notification and it, it, it's, it's weird. YouTube's been weird lately, guys. So be sure to click that and make sure you turn on all your notifications right now. So today, guys, we are in Car Dealership Tycoon. And I've been seeing this comment a lot of how you can go faster in this game. And of course, guys, there are no nitrous or no upgrades yet on this game. And you're probably wondering how can you go fast without any upgrades or, you know, any boost in this game. And it's it's kind of weird, I know. It's, you know, I know Driving Empire has upgrades on their cars and also a nitrous. So you're probably wondering how I can go faster. Well, I'm gonna show you guys a way. And I've been seeing this in the comments down below and hopefully you guys can understand what it is here we go first of all you gotta go to the gear on the top and then change the mph to km slash h guys and let's see how fast this stos go first let's go let's see how fast this goes on the highway what's our top speed right now it is 195 is our top speed now if we switch it to km slash h we go all the way let me see, we had 195, and look at that, we just passed 195, and we just hit 314 km-8, guys. That is amazing. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to pop out a different car and see how, how much faster we can go. Let's pull out the Bullet. This is one of the fastest, the second fastest car in the game. So let's go ahead and change it back to MPH. Alright, let's go. Let's see how fast. Oh, oh, oh gosh, I just crashed. Go, 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 go. All right, here we go. We're trying to break, break 300 with this. There we go. We got 300. Oh gosh, 300 miles per hour even. Now, <laughs> if we switch it to KMH, this is funny, guys. Look at this. We're going three, 300, 320, 400. Oh my gosh. Look at this, 480, that is insanely fast, you know, I gotta try this out with the Jesco, you guys are, uh, you guys been commenting this down below of like how to go faster in Car Dealership Tycoon, and honestly, it, it looks very fast, I know, it does seem very fast, that we're going above 300, but look at this guys, on this one, the Jesco, we're going over 500, Oh my gosh, we're hitting like 499 km-8 or km-8. Look at this, 499. Oh my gosh, which is actually actually pretty pretty insane if you think about it. Now I'm going to show you guys a, a trick real quick. For the ones that have been commenting this down below, I'm going to show you guys a trick, alright? So let's go ahead and go to the drag race, alright? Here we go, we're going to come up on the drag race real quick. And let's go on the, alright, let's go on the one fourth, one fourth mile. Let's go. Or a quarter mile. I'm gonna switch it back to miles per hour and see how fast we can go as soon as we finish this race. Here we go. Boom. 271 miles per hour. Not bad, right? Pretty fast. Now, if we switch it back to this, KM 8, I'm gonna try with KM 8. Alright, we're gonna try it. And I think we had like what 271 last time. So we're gonna see how fast we can go with this on KM slash 8, guys. Alright, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna try this out for you because I'm gonna show you guys something at the very end of this video. Watch this, guys. 
You guys probably think I'm gonna go a lot faster. Look at this. We're about to pass 270. Look at that. We're hitting. Oh my gosh. We hit three. I think we hit like 400. But look at the speed. It's still recording 271, guys. And if you guys looked in the bottom, you can even rewind to this video. We hit like three something. And guys, that's because this thing does not make you any faster, guys. This is just a different like measurement of like uh, speed. It's a different unit. So this thing is exactly the same, but they just kind of measure it differently for like different, you know, you know, around the world is different, guys. We and I think in U.S. we measure uh, miles per hour, and then and I believe like other countries they measure in kilometers per hour, guys. And it's not that the car goes a lot faster. It's just a different unit, guys. Uh, it's actually, you're going the same exact speed. So it does seem like we're going 499 miles per hour. But in reality, guys, we're still going 310. 499 is just a different, it's a different measurement, guys. Here, I'll show you guys again right now. Let's go ahead and go to the drag race again. But we're going to go do the half a mile. And hopefully I can show you guys a perfect example. Now let's go ahead and go to, so we'll just go to uh, kilometers per hour. I'm going to show you guys a perfect example right over here. So let's go ahead and go to the half a mile. And then we'll, we'll pay attention to what this says in the bottom. And then you guys can see the time that I finished. See, this one says 271. This one is kind of measuring miles per hour. So you guys got to pay attention to this. All right, here we go. Now pay attention to the bottom, guys, where it says 000. zero, zero. Here we go. This is kilometers per hour. And look at this. We're going fast. All right. And we have hit 499 kilometers per hour. But on the speed, it's only saying 300 in 10, which is the top speed of this car, guys. So, you know, right down here, it says 499. But right here, it says 310. So it doesn't really make your car go faster, guys. It's just a different, you know, measurement of speed. So, you know, everybody is commenting, you know, hey, uh, switch it to kilometers per hour. It'll make your car go faster. That's actually a false, you know, fact, guys. It's not, it, well, it won't make your car go faster. It looks like it will, which is kind of cool. But in reality, guys, it's the same speed and you won't be anyone in the race by switching it to kilometers per hour. I'm sorry. You know, a lot of you guys have been saying, you know, hey, T-Pro, you should switch, <laughs> switch to kilometers per hour. It'll make you go faster. It's not, that's not the case, guys. And that goes for every single car. I believe the Lenore right here, I mean, we'll go miles per hour. I think the top speed of this is like 280, 250. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys learned something, comment down below. Are you guys disappointed about this? Are you guys, you know, happy? Or are you guys understanding it? If you guys have, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear it. And I'll most likely read your guys' comment and then answer it if you guys have any more, you know, concerns or, you know, have any questions about this game. But if you guys enjoy it, be sure to smack that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And don't forget to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I go live or post a video, guys. And look at this. This is a very, very nice collection right here. If you guys did not watch my Bugatti dealership. Go check it out, guys. And also, go check out my girlfriend's channel, guys. She just made a brand new Roblox channel. And I'm trying to get her to 1,000 subscribers. I think she's super close. Her link is in the description down below. Go check her out. But thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. And peace out.